You know, I think that uh, I, I really like to emphasize surprise because surprise does some really good things to our brains. Um, surprise forces us to carefully evaluate the thing that surprises us. So, you know, if we're walking through the woods, we see something we've never seen before, it's really important that we pay attention to what that thing is. And once we see it, then we can expend some mental effort to categorize it based on what we already know. And so um, that's what I'm trying to get to with surprise. When I, when I can get a student to re uh, react to something, carefully evaluate it and carefully decide where it's going to go in their brain instead of just passively receiving it as a fact, they're much more likely to remember it, they're much more likely to internalize it, they're much more likely to own it. Um, and then, of course, reapply it. So, for example, Facebook holds these vast troves of data about all of us. It's got uh, about 1.5 billion people on its service. For each one of those people, it knows what you like, who you associate with, and what your interests are. Um, it understands the language that you use when you post, and based on that information, it can figure out a lot about you. It can use uh, data mining algorithms to determine you know, where you live, um, how old you are, how much money you make, et cetera, et cetera. All of that is available just by looking at what's in your Facebook feed. That turns out to be incredibly useful for marketers. However, um, you know, just knowing that that's happening doesn't really uh, necessarily engage students to think about it. Um, so I like to point out that when Facebook looks at my feed, it comes to the conclusion that I'm a 27-year-old woman. And the reason why it does that is because I am out of sample. I am not, the, the, the information in my, my Facebook feed does not represent necessarily someone who fits my demographics. And also there's not a lot in my Facebook feed, so they're not getting a lot of information. So we can see from that that these kinds of methods are not, aren't always um, accurate in the particular case. They're strikingly accurate, though, in the general case. So when I, when I mention that I'm a 27-year-old female, according to my Facebook feed, that's surprising to students. It gets them to think about how these things might work, how they might come to that kind of conclusion, and then what these sorts of tools might conclude about who they are. And so then we can do an exploration of, of what their Facebook feed is, is saying about them, and then more generally, what Facebook feeds in general are saying to marketers.